hi good morning this is sherry from wagner farms llc out here right now in the pastures checking on our cattle we had a um two, yeah, two babies yesterday really excited one of our uh, herefords for whatever reason um this was her second calf and she was in labor for quite a long time so um thank goodness my father-in-law is a veterinarian uh, we watched him very closely and I think what had happened is like maybe I think it was the elbow kind of got stuck up it was stuck and it was just she had just had a hard time getting delivering but we were able to monitor and watch her and make sure everything went well and she had a precious little baby girl then we had a, uh, one of our South Pole cows she had her calf so we have three new babies running around and we are super excited and we have lots more coming so yeah, so I just wanted to show you what what we have, and um, also because of the buzzard situation that we had a few days ago, we are taking turns sitting out in the pasture um, guarding the cattle. So we are like the guard dogs. So, but it's okay. You got you do what you got to do for your animals. So, okay. So I'm gonna show you what we have. Okay, this is my Hereford Lucy, and this is her little heifer that she had last night or yes late yesterday evening and oh let's see you had a rough day <laughs> she's kind of had a rough start this morning looks like she got a little pooped on what's up with that huh? what's up with that little one my goodness you're a tall baby oh look at you oh you're so pretty I absolutely love our cows so I'm I just I know that I probably talk to them different than you probably should but that's okay that's just me and that's who I am so all right so there is baby number two so let's wheel it around here there's Patrick he was born St. Patrick's Day and now he's got playmates so he's He's cute. He, for being, uh, now he's seven days old. Uh, for yesterday, that little man was up grazing. He's grazing on grass already. He's milking, you know, uh, not milking, but nursing. So, and he's grazing. So that's great. Okay. So let's go over here. Well, hi there, Elvis. This is mama number two. And that is her baby over there. Uh, now, actually, to get down to technicals, Patrick was born first. This one, uh, little girl was born second, and then Lucy's calf was born third. So, but they're all outstanding mamas, just outstanding mamas. So, oh yeah, and you know, it's South Pole breeds. They're just they're great. I mean, these little calves soon as they're born I mean they hit the ground basically running so very proud of them very very proud of them so, all right there we go so we'll just keep checking back and forth throughout the day and see what we have hi well we are sitting here watching the cattle we've been sitting here and we're still sitting here and we will continue to sit here but it's all good so they're doing great. They are doing absolutely wonderful. The little ones are up and about. Uh, they do their thing and then they um, go back to laying down with mama. So everybody is just kind of grazing and doing their own thing and only seeing a few buzzards, not nothing to be worried about, which I'm particularly very glad about. So yeah, that's it for right now. Nothing to report. It's a-okay. We're doing wonderful. Fantastic. <laughs> Okay, what we're doing now is going to be putting a roll of hay in here. We are, we are feeding stockpile grass, but we are trying to stretch this out. So what we're doing is we're unrolling hay in the areas that we have the stockpile. As you can tell, they've eaten it down pretty good. But we're wanting them to stay in this paddock one more day. So in order for that to happen, we're going to unroll a roll of hay. That way it can supplement that. We've got... Um, probably another four maybe five days probably five days left over in the next paddock that we're going to set up a little bit later on uh, and we're also going to be tagging our two new calves today fun so, 
Okay. Um, am I driving? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's kind of scary. Okay. So well, let's had a, had a learning experience. Yes, I did. So let's explain what happened. Uh, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> so let me just swing it around here a little bit. As you can see, we're putting hay out. I was driving the Polaris and my job was to go over the fence. Until I said stop. Until I said stop. Now, I thought I heard stop, but I did, apparently I did not hear stop. So what happened? So the cows saw that the fence was down yeah. and thought, hey, we can step over that. And that's exactly what they did. Yeah. But we got them back in by just simply taking poly wire and you make a little corral around the ones that got out. Cause as soon as they got over to this green grass, they started eating. Yeah. And we just got them back in without any problem. That's the the wonderful benefit they're trained to that wire. To the one wire. To that they one see wire. This wire and, and they're like, no, we don't yeah. want to get it because she found out just a minute ago, that wire's hot. Yeah, and I was just stepping on it and I got myself electrocuted. Well, not electrocuted, but it shocked me. Okay, so let's get back to putting this hay out. What's my job going to be? We'll step over the wire. Step over the wire. Okay. We'll come back. Okay, it's recording. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hi, little bit. Here's the nice sweet girl. When we get done, we're going to tell people why I had to put this down so I can help you. Okay, so I had okay. to. I had, had to, to stop. Had to drop the phone because needed help because we want to be as least traumatic to the calf as possible. All right. But so now J three zero three which is number 12's baby, now has a brand new ear ring. And it's a heifer, so it got it in the left ear, where the little bull, Patrick, that's running around here, he got that in the right ear. Right. So it'd be just kind of a way we can... <laughs> Poor little dude, we got him so upset he pooped. Yeah, bless his heart. Right. Okay, so, so let's get... Let's go, find, let's go find Lucy's. Lucy. All right, I'm gonna stop this so we can look. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. She's a good mama. Yeah, I know, sweet girl. Good mama. Here we go. Get that belly button. Get your belly, sweetie. I'm Miss Milkshake. Oh, you my Miss Milkshake. You just Miss Milkshake. <laughs> A little bit of I know. All right. I'm Miss Milkshake. All right. Come on, sweet girl. Let's hop up. There you go, Lucy. There you go. Now, Lucy's my Hereford. <laughs> and, oh. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. Well, now that went pretty decent. Yes, it did. Nice poop. Yeah. That's good. And that just doesn't happen very often that it goes smooth. Well, that may be an indication just how docile this little pepper is going to be. Yeah. So. Okay. That's good. All right. Well, we've got everybody tagged. Okay. We got the hay out. Yep. And there's probably a few places I need to spread it so it's not quite so thick. But. And then the game plan is to sit and wait and watch, watch. and make sure no buzzards come in. Correct. So, so that's. fixed all the tires that exploded. Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know what it is with you and the tires. I know it. I have this uncanny knack of being able to absolutely destroy tires. Yes, you do. I was taking the Polaris back home the other day and ran over a stick about the size of my thumb and about that long. <laughs> and it went perfectly in the center of the tire and went right up into it. So I had to get the tire replaced. And a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. The tires on the flares, the bead that holds that tire on the rim is unbelievably strong. And I finally, I had, to, I had to give Uncle and I went to Southern Tire when Reagan was nice enough to go ahead and he stopped what he was doing and got that tire mounted for me. He always does that for he us. Does. Southern Tire. If you live anywhere around Katie's, Kentucky, Southern Tire is a place to go. A gentleman Definitely. by the name of Reagan runs it. You won't find a more honest, yeah. nice guy. Yeah. And I know there's no such thing as this, but to me it's just hilarious. I don't know what tire god you made mad, but yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I, I, tear, I, I, tear tires, I tear tires up. I tear them up quickly. Yes, you do. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah, there. What's her name? Milkshake? And milkshake. milkshake. Okay. Lucy and Milkshake. All right.